Hello, welcome to MP4 plus Alpha Converter Quick Start Tutorial. Convert to MP4 H.264 just with one click items containing Alpha Channel, keeping the background transparent. Works with videos and image sequences. Turn gigabytes into megabytes with one click. Perfect for saving storage or cloud space. Perfect for demands where MP4 is not a problem. As jobs already archived or jobs in production with intense cloud traffic or jobs in there is no focus on superpower maximum image quality. Each possessed footage item is separated into two MP4. One RGB and one alpha. And merged back into a composition that replace all original instances used in compositions automatically. The comps stay the same visually, but with MP4 videos. This process can be performed manually, but it is very technical, difficult and too tedious. And there are better things to you do with your time. Let it do for you, with one click. Installation is the same as any dockable After Effects script. Simply copy the .jxpn file contained in the package to the After Effects script UI panels folder. Below the folder path according to each operating system. For the script to work correctly, it needs two output modules templates, containing specific settings to render the MP4 files correctly. The simplest way is to import these files using our AOM. To import this file, follow this path. Menu Edit, Templates, Output Modules, they hit the Load button, and find the a.o.m file. A window will appear saying that two templates were added. Note that one is called mp4ac underline rgb and another called mp4ac underline alpha. Finally, click OK and the installation of these templates will be completed. You can also manually create these templates instead of importing them. It takes a little more work, but this way you can choose a codec other than MP4 if you want. It is only mandatory to keep the highlighted parameters and the exact names of the two templates. Now let's create our templates from one of the MP4 format templates that are already defined in After Effects. Choose one of these three at your discretion. But when in doubt, choose the one with the highest bitrate to avoid loss of quality in rendered videos. Select the template. Click on the duplicate button. Rename the template to exactly the highlighted name. Then click on the edit button. And make exactly the highlighted adjustments. Duplicate the template again, rename the template to exactly the highlighted name. Click on the edit button and make exactly the highlighted adjustments. Note that the only difference to the alpha template is that it must not include audio in the file. That done, we have our two MP4 rendering templates. Click OK to save. Lastly, it is very important that the render settings use best settings as the default template or any template that the resolution parameter is full to avoid loss of image definition when converting. If the installation was done correctly, we can now run the script. To do this, just click on the window menu and then at the bottom look for MP4 plus Alpha Converter and click. And here he is. Now that we have the script properly installed, let's demonstrate how it works using this project. Note that the project has 5 high definition videos and they all contain an alpha channel. This project used as a demo is quite simple and has few items. But this script manages to convert items from highly complex projects without visually affecting it. The videos are in QuickTime MOV format, but it could be any video or image sequence format supported by After Effects. As long as items have up to 8 bits per color channel, which is After Effects default color depth. Now let's convert some items. We could convert all items at once. To begin with, we are going to select only these three. And we are going to leave the other two in order to demonstrate another functionality of MP4 plus Alpha Converter. You must set the MP4 files to be rendered to the folder on your computer. This choice will be saved until you restart After Effects. And if you don't define a folder the files will be rendered in the same folder as the AEP file. Now just click the Convert button to start converting. 
If the project has been modified, the script will show this dialog asking to save. If the project is the original, it is better to save it with another name to avoid inconvenience. With the project saved, click the convert button again. Now just wait for the conversion to finish. The conversion time depends on the quantity, duration, and resolution of the items. Items are rendered by After Effects native render queue. After finishing the render, let's check the converted items. Note that the items that used to be QuickTime MOV files have been replaced by compositions, which has the same name as the original item, but added the tag, underline RGBA. These items were replaced in the project and also in all compositions they were in. An interesting function is that whenever you click on the convert button, the original items are moved to a folder located on the same level as the original item. And another folder is used to store these temporary comps. And the rendered MP4S are saved in another folder in the root of the project. In this way we avoid that your project is polluted. If just out of curiosity you want to know what's inside the RGBA compositions that replaced the original items, just select one and open it like any normal composition. You will see that inside it contains two layers. The bottom layer has the RGB channel and the top layer has the alpha channel, which is hidden and being used as the luma mat of the RGB layer. The MPEG format has a known limitation, where in a video the vertical or horizontal resolution is number not multiple of 8, it will generate a vertical line on the side of the video after conversion. However, the MP4 Plus Alpha converter has a built-in function that corrects items with non-multi-8 resolutions, without changing any pixels in the appearance of the final compositions. By default at MP4 Plus Alpha converter uses H.264 compression template with high bitrate to have a good ratio between image quality and file size, so the loss of image quality is small. But if you prefer a template with a lower bitrate, the loss of image quality is more pronounced. See our documentation for more information on image quality. When an item originally has audio, this track will be included in the converted version as well. However, to prevent the sound from being duplicated, only the MP4 containing the RGB channel will have an audio track. You can disable automatic rendering by unchecking the auto render checkbox. This option is useful if you want to convert a large amount of items that are in different project folders. Then you can add these items little by little to the render queue. And only render to MP4 at the end. At the end of everything you will have all the files duly converted and organized in their respective folders. After converting the desired items, you can apply the reduce project command to remove the original items from the AEP project. Keeping only the converted items. But to definitively reduce the weight in bytes of the project you will have to use the collect files command. After collecting files, it is possible to analyze that the version converted to MP4 was much smaller in bytes than the original. This happens because video formats with an alpha channel cannot achieve high compression rates. Analyzing the subfolder where the original and converted files are, you can see that for each converted video, two MP4 are generated. Of course, if the original item is a sequence of files, it turns out that all the files in the image sequence become just two MP4s, 